customer to Liverpool, to Liverpool to go and do a report on his hometown. This is Wiley in Liverpool. Guardian had this little article in saying that of so many scousers interviewed, 70% of them wanted to leave, get out of Liverpool as soon as they could and make fresh starts elsewhere. Now I'm sure there are some people who want to do that and there are obviously some who will have to do that. I mean Frankie Goes to Hollywood couldn't have happened like, like they did from Liverpool. Uh, but I know most of the scousers I know, most of the people I talk to in Liverpool wouldn't leave Liverpool for the world. They're the proudest, most chauvinistic people in the country, you know. So uh, I wrote this, like, come back as an answer to it. To all them people who were supposedly running away, saying, come back, you know, and, and make it strong by staying here and doing something about the problems, not just ducking out and running away. Oh, look at all these now walking up to embarrass me. That's terrible, that. Typical scousers, you can't resist the chance to get in a film. In terms of the Liverpool thing, this comment, Liverpool is the pool of life, is a very important key, as you'll find. Uh, this building used to be the Armadillo Tea Rooms, which moved there now since it got a few bob and the tourists come in to throw them money. The almost legendary Liverpool scene began in this building with a pot of tea, three tea bags and warm-ups all afternoon, Echo and the Bunny Men, uh, teardrop explodes, orchestral manoeuvres even when their mums would let them over from over the water would arrive here and we'd drink tea all day and form our plans for world greatness. On our right, we have a new piece of uh, social scandal, the legendary John Lennon Bar. This place, the John Lennon Bar, where these nice people are about to enter, will not let people in wearing jeans or looking scruffy, so in fact the John Lennon bar wouldn't let John Lennon in. Quite interesting piece of information there. Huh? You have a nice lady. Oh, I know, see, oh, oh, she used to do the cloakroom in this building, this girl. Yes, I'm going to talk about black. this place. I'm a She's the Silla Blacker, didn't you? Wave, you understand. Don't know where that makes me, though. Yeah, see you later. Great, making myself famous, as you do. Ta that look. This, on the other hand, the, uh, the tourist room. This is actually part of a YTS scheme. Obviously, when you're shoplifting in Liverpool, you get fed up with going to Woolworths. And if you go to Chester, it's a different kind of shops, or you go to somewhere posh. So they built this to help lads with stage smash and grab raids, all on a £30 a week wage from the government. What else have we got here? Now, this place. I could tell you things about this place. This, despite it saying the cavern, wasn't actually the cavern until after the Beatles had all gone. But in here, what was it, October the 1st, 1976, this opened the Xerox. Uh, the Stranglers played for 60 pence. We all had long hair in them days. And we used to come down and get wellied in there and have sex in the toilets, which is not done these days, of course, in these days of fabulous Duran Duran. This other grotto we're about to uh, we'll see is where the cavern actually started. It's been reopened as a, like a tacky wine, but when they actually dug down and reopened the cavern, the, uh, what was it? They found a pool of uh, water underneath, which is either some stinking sewer, or some people think the pool of life. As I mentioned earlier, this is continuity. The little sign down there, have we been watching? This is important. Um, what can I tell you? If you've flown 4,000 miles to see the cabin, would you want to come see a tacky wine bar? Not me. <laughs> so where can an international jet-setting celebrity like me good self take his public on a night out? Mm -hmm. I've chosen to bring you to Riot Torn Toxter for a once-only televised performance. Come this way. Cinema Verite. The Bank House. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to, see, to meet my family, my group, my public, my very good friends. And the ordinary Liverpool people. These so-called down and outs. Well, let me tell you, these are some of the finest people on the air. Margaret Thatcher said, these people are the salt of the air. Throw them on the road when it snows. They should be in cellars. Let me tell you, these people will make you laugh. They'll make you cry. But that is life. Come this way. I'm not doing any more now, I'm getting this down. <laughs> Scallies. Yeah. 
I could have stayed round and chatted a little longer about my expensive connections with the likes of Frankie Goes to Hollywood here. I'd like to meet Frankie, Holly, Paul, the lads. Buddy Holly, Buddy Holly goes to Frankie Wood. But instead, I've chosen to get back that end of the bar, give it loads of this, and watch the group. You, meanwhile, can go and watch the guest present to get things wrong. Nice to see you.